Thank you for the beautiful page and worship. ये आवाज आ रही है? Yeah. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes. You are audible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much for the beautiful page and worship. आगे बढ़ते हुए we would like to invite father vicky vincent sabhi unko jante hain yahan pe we in especially the cathedral ke father kafi acha kaam kiya father ne is youthful and dynamic is a dashing personality so hamesh aap sab jante hain unko koi batane ki zarurat nahi ki father vicky vincent kaun hai sab jante hain bahut acche se jodh ko mein bhi hai so father vicky vincent abhi is a parish priest of saint paul school palavat ke principal principal tahe father karte father vicky ka father vicky thank you for your time thank you abhishek thank you alan for introducing me or telling about me are you all able to hear me yes father yeah first of all i welcome you to listen to me i thank reza for approaching me and uh, thought about me that maybe a little message which you all look for in your prayer meetings you thought about me and gave me an opportunity to speak to you all thank you reza and the line the wordings from matthew's gospel which she asked me to speak about is the lord's prayer that says lead us not into temptation let us close our eyes lord we are here to worship you to understand more about you we would love to meet you in your words and in the spirit that you give us teach us through your word show us where we need to change and give us all we need to serve you in the world for the glory of your name amen so the words which i'm going to speak to you all about is the words that is lead us not into temptation we all know that we all face temptation every day and temptations is always something we attach it with something doing wrong that is which is leading us to sin some of us might be tempted to do something that we have been told by our parents not to do others of us may be tempted to break the law and speed up maybe on the highways in the cities speed up to show others that we can drive better some of us may be tempted to buy lots of things which we don't require or we don't need whilst others of us may be tempted to flirt with co-workers when we are married some of us may be tempted to steal whilst others of us may be tempted to lie to judge lose our temper be selfish or to drink too much and lose our control temptation itself is not a sin and we can all be tempted however old or young we are even jesus at a time he was tempted we have matthew's gospel in chapter 4 verses from 1 to 11 it speaks all about the temptation of jesus where jesus was tempted after 40 days 
and the devil took jesus in a different situations and he tried his level best to tempt him so from this passage one thing we are sure or we come to know that it is not the jesus one who tempts us or it is not jesus who is tempting us but we have a phrase in this prayer lead us not into temptation rather it can be a negative line which we can say which we are asking jesus as if jesus is leading us to temptation but it is sure that it is not jesus who is leading us but it is devil himself who leads us to temptation we have reached the part of the lord's prayer where jesus teaches us to pray it is jesus who is teaching us to pray lead us not into temptation rather it's not that we are asking god that lead us not into temptation so what what does that actually mean the first thing to say is that god does not lead us into temptation as it is written in james 1:13 which says when tempted no one should say god is tempting me for god cannot be tempted by evil nor does he tempt anyone so if god does doesn't tempt us then who does i already told you it is satan who tempts us our reading from matthew tells us that the devil who is also known as satan is the one who tempted jesus when he was in the wilderness for 40 days and nights the devil is the one who is also who also tempts us he is a enemy of god and he is also our enemy if we are following jesus if you are not following jesus then he can be our friend but if we are following jesus he is all the more powerful in tempting us because as we all know temptation has different levels and it can come to anyone at any time although devil is powerful and cunning we need to remember that he is only a created being and he is not anywhere near as powerful and mighty as our father god however although the devil is much smaller than god he has a loud voice he speaks to us so louder and he creeps into our minds so inside that we are unable to hear the voice of god and get us to walk on his evil and dangerous path jesus said in john chapter 10 verses 10 the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have it to the full we know the thief or the devil who comes to us not to praise us not to give us something eternal but it comes to destroy and kill us even though god jesus has promised us eternal life he has come to give something eternal to us but many a times we fail to understand or to listen to his voice temptation although is one of the ways the devil uses to try and get us to leave god's path for his path he is so loud because he wants that we leave god's path and we follow the path of devil however although temptation can sometimes be hard to deal with if we don't give in to it we will grow stronger in our christian character but that devil never wants it he wants that we keep leading ourselves and he makes the way for us to walk on those path which he treads us jesus didn't give in to the temptations he had thrown at him in the desert and he can help us if we cry out to him for help so when we pray lead us not into temptation 
we are asking god to protect us and keep us on his safe path when the devil comes and tempts us there is a small narration i would like to illustrate before you a narration is a telephone call devil there's a conversation between devil and any person we can say it can we can take it personally to ourselves but i name it to one particular name as daniel so one evening daniel after the work he comes home and he was wondering what to do next to the table was a telephone on it a copy of the radio times and he took the newspaper and he started reading and suddenly he gets a phone call i wonder what's on the television today after a few seconds the telephone rings hello daniel speaking the devil says good evening daniel what a hard day you had today daniel says oh yes right it has been really hard in all sorts of ways though daniel may not have remembered that he had a hard day though he may not have thought about that he did something hard but devil puts in his mind that he has done something very hard further speaking to daniel i know poor you you really deserve a nice evening in to relax you really need to watch that particular film you have just seen reviewed in your radio times it is coming up shortly on channel a particular channel then daniel says i am only going to watch the news as i have home group tonight but the devil says it is so lovely and warm in here and you are so tired just put up your feet now and relax as devil talks to daniel starts daniel starts relaxing sliding down into the chair why not ringing for a pizza a nice peppercorn one spoil yourself a bit you don't need home group tonight what you really need to do is watch a film and then daniel says i don't think i should watch that sort of a film as a christian though one moment in our life to whenever we are going to do something wrong or some somebody leads us to do something wrong or forces us to do something wrong a thought pricks into a conscience it a thought comes into a mind which tells us that we are christian we are baptized we belong to the lord but over overshadowing all that what the devil again tells us what is the problem everyone is christian and doing the same and how will a little film hurt you god doesn't mind you watching you need to rest and it is also written in the bible that you need to rest then after some time whether it is daniel or anybody else in the world may get convinced because we are not determined we are not so strong in god's word we get convinced of the devil which is leading us to temptation and i the daniel says i don't suppose it would hurt me really just this once and i am so tired what i am doing i need to make my tea that i am ready though that thought helps us to go away but even then devil pricks into our mind and tells us again and again that you need to do that you need to do that and we forget that we are christians we are following the path of jesus and because of that we are led in a particular situation which makes us forget 
that we are people of God. Many a times it happens to every one of us through different people. The sources may be different to lead us into temptation, but it is the devil who knows our weaknesses so well that he is always prepared to send someone or the other to highlight our weaknesses and prop up with new, new temptations, with beautiful goods and things which will help us to go out of track and get led by those temptations. This talk would work well with good illustration on different things because there are so many, so many temptations in the world. So how does temptation work in practice? It works a bit like fishing. Think of a moment about a fishing who wants to catch a fish in order to attract the fish onto the end of his fishing hook. He has to hide the hook with a tasty bite. Something like a nice, fat, juicy maggot. A good fisherman will know exactly what kind of bat each fish likes so that he can successfully catch it. The devil is like the fisherman and we are like the fish. The bat the devil uses is something that will tempt us to sin. And it is, and it will be different for each one of us, as we said earlier. The food might look beautiful, tasty, well prepared, but it might look really good to us. Underneath that food or bite, it is a dangerous hook that we don't see, that we don't realize, and we simply go into it and try to catch it. Temptation begins with the devil dangling some bite in front of us. For Jesus, as we heard in our reading earlier, one of the bites the devil dangled in front of him was to use his power to turn his stone into bread when he was starving hungry. In a, a small story of this fisherman, or the telephone, telephone conversation, we were just hearing about how devil was trying to put in his weaknesses and highlight those weaknesses so that we can realize that we are weak and we can easily go away from the path of the Lord. Once the devil has ensured that we have seen the bite, he then wants us to take it. In other words, to give in to the temptation. He encourages us to give in to the temptation by putting our thoughts in those thoughts into our mind. Thoughts like, if you are the son of God, it says, it tells us that you are the children of God, but you also are children of this earth. You may be Catholics, but you are also human being. You can also relax and you have the power to rest. And all these things, he reminds us that nothing will happen. There are thousands of people doing the same thing in the world and there is nothing happening to them. So why do you worry? You can also do these things. And we, seeing others, we just give in. Maybe a small illustration again I would try to tell you there are times when a friend must have told you some secret about his life and those secret the person has shared in confidence but sometimes the devil comes into our mind and tells us that he highlights and makes us remember that why don't you reveal that secret because it can be a piece of news to others. And with that, people may enjoy and lure about the weaknesses of others. And 
the thing which is told to us in confident we go and share because every single person has one true friend who would keep our secret and thus that secret passes on to another good friend of his and that's how we reveal and we start gossiping around and that person gets humiliated when everybody is talking about him that's how the devil works they will tells us that you have your weaknesses were revealed by someone else and he tempts us by giving these little bites into our mouth so that we may catch and get tempted so fast and forget about all of those moments when someone felt so confident in uh, confident in us that is how sometimes we really get tempted and we leave the path of our lord another thing how can we come out of these temptations we have heard that we are all tempted but to sin and our temptation work in practice we are going to spend a few minutes now thinking about how we can say no to temptation when it comes to us james has been struggling with temptation and his granddad granddad has some words of wisdom for us let us see something where we can really say no to temptations so what do we do when devil dangles his temp- tempting bites in front of us tempting bites of tasty looking chocolate cakes we have been told not to touch five pound notes lying around juicy gossip or something else what do we do when having seen those tempting things the th- the thoughts in our minds tell us that we should reach out and take the bite let me give you some ways to defeat temptation remember that father god wants to give us something much better we have seen jesus on the cross with an open arm remember that picture where jesus is with open arms telling us that he is ready to do and he has done everything for us for us since he has died on the cross he has satisfied us with his forgiveness he has restored us back into his kingdom then why do we listen to the voice of the devil father god wants to satisf- satisfy our deepest needs and he does that by giving us relationship with himself he has restored our relationship back which was broken once upon a time all these other tempting things that the devil paradise in front of us will never truly satisfy and we leave us freely guilty and ashamed if we take them for the god alone can truly fill our deepest longings secondly realize that you are weak we all have seen a banana when we peel a banana and we throw it it if someone put his feet over that peel peeled banana or the skin of the banana we know that we will slip why do we think i have told you about this banana that's right we can slip on a banana skin easily we can all easily forget that father god has better for us and we give in temptation we many a times when temptations are so alluring that we even forget what father god has done for us we will especially give in when we are hungry angry lonely 
when we are tired those are the times when devil comes up to take his opportunity and take his part to take us away from the path of the lord that's how that was a time when jesus was tempted when he was hungry be careful not to look at those people and say i would never do that because you might given the wrong circumstances remember those times when we look at others when people those who are in sin or when people those who have really in tr- are in trouble they are in particular situation they have done something wrong we look at those people sometimes and we say i would n- never do that how could this man do such a crime but do not forget it is the circumstances it is a situation which leads a person to do something wrong it is not the person who is sinful but it is the situation which makes him to reach to that particular sin so situation matters if i were to be at his position i would not have done that that can not be true at every time we may also fall into that trap and we we may might given to that temptation thirdly we have pray and ask for help we have thousands of people who pray when they face with temptation satan may be telling us not to pray god doesn't care for you having realized that we are weak we can ask god to help us when we are tempted each day ask the lord for his protection and his help to stay on his safe path read your bible regularly spiritually your mind is the place where the battle with temptation is won or lost so fill your mind with bible verses of father god's goodness and you will be amazed how the holy spirit will bring those verses to mind when you need them jesus dealt with the temptations that the devil threw at him in the desert by quoting bible verses that spoke god's truth refocus on something else there are thousands and thousands of things which we have to do in our daily life so let us when the temptation comes when you face with the temptation or a thought or anything what we can do is we can refocus our mind and when temptation comes refocus your attention think about something else don't allow evil thoughts to stay in your mind turn your eyes back to the lord and his goodness share with other christians God's plan for our growth and freedom includes other Christians. Join a small group and be honest about your struggles. Let's let others pray for you. Look for the escape route. God has made us a promise that he will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. and he will also provide a way of escape for us to take so when you are tempted look for god's escape route don't watch tv shows that provoke you to greed or lust we are very well aware of what is wrong and what is right even then we are provoked we are provoked to know about the wrong things which are happening around us about the wrong things which we don't know but devil puts the thoughts into our mind these are some ways where we can really try to escape temptations again when would you need to pray lead me not into temptation maybe you have accepted that jesus died for you and brought you into heaven but you still think you are like a desert 
your life is like a desert wilderness and you need stuff to fill up the void you suspect god because you don't trust that he will give you what you need so instead of generosity and love your life is about greed and holding on to things that you don't really need satan is just as active in material things as he is in spiritual things and therefore there we need to pray lead us not into temptation maybe you are unhappy with whatever relationships you have or unhappy because you don't have a relationship that you long for or you look for you may be single you may be friendless you may be unappreciated just tired of your life and you may know that god has saved you from sin even then you suspect god that he doesn't really have your best interest at heart he doesn't care for you and you think that he is being so mean we forget that he has saved us from all our sins and brought us the new life you think that he has brought us in a dry desert and wilderness and he is not going to give us anything to drink in those wilderness even those israelites they thought when jesus gave them manna jesus gave them water when jesus divi- god divided the red sea they thought that god is not going to provide them anything but they forgot the water and the food which god gave them sometimes we get everything but our unhappiness our wilderness experiences forgets we forget that the good times and we compare our bad times which the devil leads us to only see the unhappy and unwanted moments into our life so that we may go away from the lord and those temptations make us look towards the negative path of the lord you are tempted to look for other ways to gratify your desire ways that god hates we have so many desires and we are tempted to gratify those desires but we know that god hates them even then we try to go on those paths we join in with many of our classmates friends when they drink too much so we will also be accepted by them many a times to satisfy others to be in a particular group to be in a particular peer groups we do something that may be acceptable to our friends but we forget to be different in is the way of god or we look for cheap thrills but we don't care about god's god doesn't seem to care for you therefore we need to pray lead us not into temptation trusting god's goodness even in the desert sometimes addiction can be a form of temptation too can't it when you start to feel that some things can look after you or ease the pain because we think that god doesn't care whether it's alcohol or pornography or sex or a smallest temptation we are going through maybe food even that when it is overtaken it is leading us to temptation of course it helps us to take some active steps to remove these temptation from your life when we tell no to some of the things we need to block some of the things from our way only then we can say no to temptation and therefore it is not that we are asking god to not to lead us into temptation because god doesn't lead us into temptation it is the devil that leads us into temptation we are just praying to god that help us that the temptations might not come on our way 
so my dear friends it is true that temptations are a reality into our life as i said it is not temptation is not sin itself but it's only temptation is not sin in itself but only when we give in to those temptations only when we give in to satan and devil that is where we forget the mercy and the mercy of god where god brought us by giving salvation and by forgiving us and bringing us to life and where we forget the mercy of god and the goodness of father and we focus our mind only on the negative things and we follow satan and his path thank you thank you father for sharing the for sharing the reflection the beautiful message um, i think we all can relate to the situation as you have explained that when the temptation comes to us what happens when said times tempt us what to happens we can clearly relate to that and the messages and the stories which we have shared that is very also very helpful to clearly explain how certain times tempt us how it catches us the certain catches us and lead us into temptations and then sin thank you father so much and now i would like to invite everyone uh, for this open platform if you want to share something or want to ask something for father this open platform you can ask I think Father has explained us very nicely. So there's no more questions to ask. Thank you, Father. Uh, so moving forward, first we will say a hail Mary for Father. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Okay. So we may be having lots of prayers. People asking for prayers. Or situations people must have shared with us, or. there may be many things inside of us which you want us you want to play or you want to share with someone or the difficulties or the problems you are facing in today's time let us let us bring all our intentions let us bring all our intentions if you anyone want to speak out also they can say all the intentions we have in our mind or whatever the intentions we are remembering or someone has asked the prayers bring all the prayers together and we put it in the in front of our lord jesus lord see to all this problem see to all the situations all the circumstances which we are in all the prayers we have lord you cover all these situations with your holy blood lord you take command over us you be with us lord it is very important for us to pray to be in regular prayer to be in regular touch with you because daily we have we have been tempted we are tempted by the satan he tries to lead us into sin but lord you have created us you have the command over us you have the command over our situations lord all this intentions lord all the prayer requests lord we bring in your holy foot lord in you see to this thought we send all the prayers on the request we put moving forward uh, we have sebastian bhaiya with us sebastian bhaiya we would like if you can share some 
say some incidents or some message with us or how you felt today. So, Sylvia. Praise God, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Bhaiya. First of yeah. all, I would like to thank. Uh, I would like to thank Father Vicky for the wonderful message. I was just uh, reflecting the beautiful message that that we have just received about the temptations. I just want to share. We can't say that the uh, the bird cannot fly over our heads because we can see so many, so many, so many birds are always uh, flying uh, over our heads. But uh, it's very important that. The birds should not build their nest on the top of our head. That's very important. This is it's the same like the temptations. Temptations are so common, but we should not allow to make their nest on our head. So that's very important. Same like that. So I'm so happy to see all the wonderful faces of uh, Jis Youth uh, Rajasthan, especially Jis Youth Jodhpur. Because you are the face of the moment there, I can't rem- I can't forget the beautiful day- days I had with Jawai, Rajasthan. I had been there only for three years. It was it was from uh, 2000 to 2003. Only three years. I spent my life over there with a couple of my Jawai friends. But I always thank God for all the beautiful things happened out there. Still remember the priest. Like uh, Father Joseph, Father Henry, and uh, both the bishops, the bishops of Ajmer and the bishop, uh, bishop of uh, Udaipur, Father jo- uh, Bishop Joseph, and Father Anthony, Father Clement. So it was a wonderful time that I had in my life. So I remember all the families, all the uncles and aunties, and my fellow JY friends. Um, I can't never forget because all the blessings that I have received all there. Then in 2004, in the early beginning, I left for Bahrain and I stayed over there uh, around 10 years. You know, Bahrain was a small island near to the Saudi Arabia. And it is, there was only one church with a congregation of 35,000 Catholics. And it was very hard to begin there in the first five years. It was very hard. So in the moment it was so silent, like the early Christians, the, the basic Christian community. but. What really happened after five years, the movement was became the official movement in the parish as even uh, that was in 2009. So now there's only one official movement that is Jesus Youth is in the official movement in Bahrain. And now they are doing a wonderful job. The last, uh, I could take the last 11 years. But in the uh, 2014, I left for Australia and now we are here in uh, Australia and Brisbane. So it's all good. And uh, here also in the moment is very active, especially with the youth. Um, uh, I would like to share one thing that the God is faithful, even though some of the times we are not faithful and the God is all faith, always faithful to his promises. But there are ups and downs in our, in our lives, but don't, don't be afraid because he is there to take care of us and he's there to, to hold our hand. Don't, don't be worried. Sometimes there is a darkness in our life. Sometimes we feel there is no point of praying a rosary. There is no point of praying the our father, but still try to pray that prayer and God will take the guardian of angels to get, take care of our spiritual life. So hmm, I remember the beautiful saying, coming together is the beginning. Doing together is a progress, but staying together is a success. Mm-hmm. If you take the last 20 years of Jawai, Rajasthan, uh, the early, all the programs, uh, still remember all the programs, Jawai, Sephata, Galilee, so many programs that we had over there. That's also time of the coming together, but uh, we were doing together, but now it's very important because the Saturn is so cunning and so alert we need to stay together. That's a very important thing. There will be the conflicts between the ideas and between the uh, between the many many things. But the very important thing is that to stay together with Jesus and with the movement and with the church, 
that's very very important thing so apart from all the other things try to be st- stay together in one heart and there the god will to all the wonders if there is no unity the god will not to any kind of wonders if there is no faith there won't be any unity and if there is no unity there won't be any wonders from the side of uh, jesus so cooperate with jesus and he will surely offer i am a catechism teacher teacher here and i am teaching the catechism in grade 8 and in the initial stage and i shared one beautiful story with my fellow teachers and the story goes like this that and one day a very cunning student came to his teacher and said that and he he was having a a butterfly in his hands and he asked the teacher a very cunning question Uh, teacher can you say uh, whether on the life whether this butterfly in my hands is alive or not and he was so cunning because uh, if the teacher say it is alive he will just press his and thumbs and he will kill that butterfly and if the, if the teacher says it is dead and then he will open his uh, hands and allow the butterfly to fly so teacher was uh, he was having the wisdom and he said the life of the butterfly is in your hands the life of the butterfly is in your hands the moment in the spirit of the moment the spirit of the church is in your hands so you can kill it and you can be more alive it's all depends upon you that's it and cooperate with jesus and he will operate god bless you all.